Youth Olympic Park is 25 miles out of Salt Lake City in Park City, Utah. The Utah Olympic Park was one of the venues for the 2002 Olympic Games. And today, this 400-acre facility where bobsled luge, skeleton, and ski jump athletes fought for gold is focused on developing and growing participation in winter sports in Utah. This official United States Olympic Committee training site is operational year-round. When the Olympics came in, in 2002, the community really embraced the international competition to be here and, and showcase Salt Lake City. And it's given us some amazing opportunities to maintain world-class facilities over the past two decades. Contrary to what you might think, ammonia, not water, is critical to a bobsled track's operation. Four or five years ago, two pumps went down on the bobsled track for the midsection. These pumps are designed to pump ammonia up to each section of the track. The ammonia is flowed up through a series of pipes. Water is sprayed on the track, instantly freezes. While a refrigeration team installed the new pumps, it was first up to the NECA IBEW Powering America team of Skyline Electric and IBEW 354 to install transformers that would increase the voltage to necessary levels to ensure the pump's operation. It's important to be able to trust your contractors. When you get into problems like having compressors go down and you can get somebody up there that can install it the way they want it installed and keeps it under warranty and everybody's happy. Well, the Utah Olympic Park was very pleased with Skyline's progress with the installation of both phases of this project on the bobsled track, which led to more service work and more projects hopefully to come in the future. My relationship with Skyline Electric is great. Keith and I talk daily. I know Keith's got a big list of stuff to do, and I usually just interfere with that by creating more projects every day. So he'll just jump on stuff like as soon as you call him, and it's almost surprising how fast that he gets stuff done. We seek to take care of the customer number one. It starts even with an estimator. Not only that, once the estimator has done his due diligence, then it starts with the people that we put on site and making sure that they have the ultimate experience here at UOP with Skyline Electric. Service work is the lifeblood of our contractors. It is the day-to-day -day work that sustains them. Between the big projects, our focus is once again to help our customers from the construction phase all the way through sustaining and working with them to keep their buildings functioning at a high level long term. It's critically important that we train a balanced workforce that is well-versed across the entire industry, and service work helps establish some of those parameters. It gives our membership a variety of work to make a more well-rounded journeyman electrician. IBW gives us the best electricians possible. I went through the program. I know the training and the schooling, so it's really key that they teach everything and that's what they do. Our relationship with Skyline is very good. They're expanding every aspect of their work, and we support that growth because growth with any of our contractors is growth for our membership. It's a true partnership. We need the contractors to go after that work, and we need to be able to complete it when they get it. The IBEW and NECA set a standard that they hold themselves to, what I think far exceeds any expectations for our customer. So when they see us come in with that commitment to excellence, they're wanting to engage with us on a more personal level and also partner with our contractors like Skyline Electric as well as they see the face of the IBW in maybe a different way that they haven't in the past. And that goes hand in hand in partnership with our NECA contractors that really we're out to provide our end user, our customer, with the best trained, the most advanced electrical contractors in both installation and craftsmanship that they can find in the industry. From Park City, home of the Utah Olympic Park, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.